Hey guys, Jesse Rothacker here. I am on the trail again. And um, as you can see, <laughs> we, we met a new friend here. This is a huge snapper. As far as snapping turtles go, it's about as big as you're gonna get. So what I'm gonna do in this video is I'm gonna give you a close look at the snapping turtle so you can see uh, some of the equipment that they have. He needs to go across the trail, the river's over on that side. And so we're gonna make sure he gets across the trail without getting hit by a bike, without getting mixed up uh, with a hiker or a dog walker. So I'm gonna show you the safe way to do it. Uh, we did do a picture just the other day. It's not safe to pick up a snapping turtle by the tail. Uh, that can really hurt their spine. It can damage their spine and even their shell. Their, their spine ribs are part of the shell. So we'll do a quick demonstration here before I do that I want to show you just how big this turtle is so let's see what can we use <laughs> well why don't I just use my hand that's probably the probably the easiest thing to show you guys so here's this big snapper right here and to give you an idea uh, that's my hand right on top of him so you can see he's way way bigger than my hand he's probably I would say just the the length of his shell it's going to be pushing 18 inches if we we're measuring his tail goodness man this tail he's going to start getting grumpy when i move the tail but that tail now <laughs> i got his attention look at that guys uh, but that tail adds another good six or eight inches or so get you a good look at him isn't that a good look guys so you can say they don't have teeth but they do have a beak so right now gosh i'm probably about I'm gonna say 12 inches away from him, so I should be right at the edge of his bite radius. I'm trying not to go into it, um, but really handsome little guys. You can see his nostrils, you can see his eyes, um, and he's got a lot of, uh, he has a lot of neck skin around there because that neck has some reach on it. The other thing you'll see on him are these dinosaur-like claws. Take a look at those claws, guys. Are those cool? Let's get a close look at those before we move them across. Now, you can see those are not small claws at all. So you don't want to get mixed up with the beak. That's the main thing you want to watch out for. They have a lot of jaw pressure in there. So they have a lot of bite pressure in that beak and very sharp claws that we see on there. So what's going to happen here, I'm going to zoom out in a second. I'm going to hand this off to our, um, our volunteer camera people. Well, let me show you the tail while I'm here. This is, a, this is a neat thing that you'll see on them. You can tell they spend so much time in the water. Not unusual, oh, he doesn't like that at all. See a little, little snail on the back there. Oftentimes you'll find some leeches. Like he's turning to make sure he's showing me his business and he doesn't know that I'm here to help him. Uh, but what I really wanted to show you is his dinosaur-like tail, which is very cool. We can see it, all right. I'm gonna circle around the other way and look at, he is following me. Look at the way he's raising up those back legs that way. He can move if he needs to. See, this is a fully aquatic animal. So right now he's out of his element. So I'm gonna try not to spook him too much. I just wanna help him across the trail. But right now he's probably uncomfortable. Sort of like if you had your, um, your hands tied behind your back, you would be uncomfortable because he is not meant for the land. He is meant to be in the water. Oh good, now we're getting the beak. Now he's showing us, hey buddy. He's saying, look at me, I mean business. You don't wanna mess with me. And now we're settling him down a little bit. He's closing that beak. But a lot of times you get that gaping. Gaping's just when they open the mouth to remind you that they mean business. I want to show you that dinosaur tail that he has. See if I can move around here without him following me too much. I love this dinosaur tail. This is one of the ways you can easily recognize a snapping turtle. Look at that wild tail. Isn't that cool? Look at my hand next to that tail, guys. That tail's got to be a good 8 or 12 inches. Hey, guys, in just a second, I'm going to hand this off here to my camera people, and I'm going to show you how to safely pick him up. Again, you don't want to pick him up by the tail, and he's always going to turn. That's a normal thing. You can inspect him to turn and show me his business end, and he might even take a bite. Sometimes you can see that, guys. I'm giving the tail. Now, where these bike shoes are pretty solid, but you can let him do that, get it out of his system. So I'm not gonna hurt him, I'm not gonna touch him, but I'm gonna let him realize that he can't really do anything with the bite. I'm gonna get that from the side. He might take one more bite. Usually, usually they realize that there's no reason to bite, that we're not hurting him, but he just wants to show us he means business. Isn't that pretty cool? Now I'm gonna spin around him, I'm gonna pick him up the safe way, and I do have long sleeves on. I'm gonna be thankful for these long sleeves in a second because without the long sleeves, those claws that you saw a minute ago give you some serious scratches. So watch as I control the tail. Now I'm holding his tail. He can no longer spin around and get me. 
So at this point, this is as much weight as I want to put on the tail. His feet are still on the ground, so I'm not putting actual weight on his tail, just using the tail to control him spinning around. So while I have the tail, he can't spin around and get me. Watch how I slide the second hand. My dominant hand's gonna go underneath. So now all of his weight is on my right hand. There's no weight on the tail. So his back legs, you can count on them scratching me up. Usually I get a lot of scratches on my arm. This is a really neat thing to look at on the bottom of a snapper shell. Do you see that very little shell on the bottom? If you look at the top of his shell, huge massive shell. If you look at the bottom of his shell, very little, uh, very little shell down at the bottom. So you can see that really big, powerful beak. I'm not getting any closer than this, right outside of his bike radius. And as you guys saw with the bottom of my bike cleats, he knows how to use that. If he manages to clip onto me, I'm gonna be hurting. If you move a snapper, never put the weight on the tail. Use that tail to control him, to control the direction, to keep that bite away from you. All the weight right now is on my hand. That's why I'm starting to breathe like this because he probably weighs about 30 pounds, 40 pounds. So all we're going to do is gonna head him uh, right across uh, the trail here towards the river. This is the direction that he was facing when we got here. He looked like he was about ready to cross towards the river. So we're gonna get him over there. Uh, if this was May or June, I would not touch this turtle because I'd assume it's a female. I'd assume she's nesting. By the size of that tail, oh wow, here's a neat anatomy lesson. So uh, he is actually putting out <laughs> some of his male parts here for some reason. So sorry if you have kids watching, but I think that tells us now for sure we're looking at a, at a male and actually kind of an excited male. But this one's probably coming out of hibernation, I'm guessing it's probably in a muddy pond on this side of the river in the colder months, and it's probably ready to go back into the, the big river for the warmer months. So we're just gonna walk him across here. You can follow us. And we're not gonna take him all the way to the river. He's gonna swim right down here. It's a heavy, heavy turtle. Now we have a turtle that has been safely moved across the trail. You hear a train right behind me, but since we got him over there, we can now let him go on his way. So thanks so much guys for giving reptiles a chance. Have a great day. If it was May or June, I would not move this turtle at all because <laughs> all these bikers are going by and they're like, what is happening here? <laughs> oh, <laughs> sorry, I already dropped my camera here. Let me see. I think we should be back. Hopefully we're back on here. Uh, yeah, this is a fun to live. Okay, so now how do we get this way? Okay, we are on some kind of a delay. Hold on here, guys. We're going to get this all back together. What in the world did we get that? Okay, we're gonna, let me flip it around, see if that gets us normal again. We are all goofed up.